Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most gripping and disturbing shows on right now, Dear Child. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend you do so, because it's a mind-blowing psychological thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat. But before I get into the details of the show, I want to warn you that this video contains major spoilers for season 1. So if you haven't seen it yet, please stop watching now and come back later. Alright, for those of you who are still here, let's recap what happened in season 1 of Dear Child. The show follows the story of Lena, a young woman who was abducted 13 years ago by a man named Matthias who kept her and her two children, Hannah and Jonathan, captive in a remote cabin in the woods. Lena and her children were forced to follow a strict routine and obey Matthias' every command or face brutal punishment. Lena never gave up hope of escaping and one day, she managed to flee with Hannah, leaving Jonathan behind. However, as they ran away, they were hit by a car in a hit-and-run accident. Lena was taken to the hospital, where she was identified as Lena Beck, a girl who went missing 14 years ago. Her parents, who had been searching for her all this time, rushed to see her. However, they soon realized that something was wrong. The woman in the hospital bed was not their daughter. She was an imposter named Jasmine Shower, who had been living as Lena for the past 13 years. The real Lena Beck was still missing. The police began to investigate the case and discovered that Matthias had abducted not one, but two women, Lena and Jasmine. He had brainwashed Jasmine into believing that she was Lena and that he was her husband. He had also fathered two children with her, Hannah and Jonathan. The police also found out that Matthias was not his real name. He was actually Martin Schreier, a former teacher who had been accused of sexually abusing his students. The police tracked down Martin's cabin in the woods and rescued Jonathan from his clutches. They also found the body of the real Lena Beck buried in the basement. She had died shortly after giving birth to Martin's son Lucas. Martin had then replaced her with Jasmine, who he had kidnapped from a nearby town. The show ended with a shocking twist. Hannah revealed that she knew all along that Jasmine was not her real mother and that Martin was not her father. She had been pretending to be loyal to Martin, but in reality, she hated him and wanted to kill him. She also confessed that she was the one who killed Lucas by poisoning his food. She said that she did it because Lucas reminded her of Martin and she wanted to hurt him. The show left us with many questions. What will happen to Jasmine and her children? Will they be able to recover from their trauma and find a new life? Will Martin face justice for his crimes? And most importantly, is there going to be a season two? Well, unfortunately, there is no official confirmation yet about whether Dear Child will be renewed for a second season or not. However, there is some hope for the fans of the show. The show is based on a best-selling novel by Romy Hosman One, which has been translated into several languages and has received critical acclaim. The novel has also been optioned for a film adaptation by Studio Canal 2, which means that there is a lot of interest in the story. However, there is also a catch. The novel ends exactly where the show ends. There is no sequel or continuation of the story in the book. So if there is going to be a season 2 of Dear Child, it will have to be an original creation by the writers and producers of the show. But what could season 2 be about? Well, one possibility is that it could explore the real-life story that inspired Dear Child. The Case of Elizabeth Fritzl III Elizabeth Fritzl was an Austrian woman who was held captive by her own father, Joseph Fritzl IV for 24 years in a secret basement under his house. Joseph Fritzl raped Elizabeth repeatedly and fathered seven children with her. He also forced Elizabeth and her children to live in isolation and darkness, without any contact with the outside world. 